Apple Incorporated is developing its own micro LED device displays and has made small numbers of the screens for testing. The iPhone maker is developing next generation micro LED screen at a secret plant in California and has made a huge investment for this. The secret project, codenamed T159, is overseen by Lin Youngs, who is in charge of iPhone and Apple Watch screen technology. The company will aim to use the new technology in its wearable computers first. Foreign brands are gaining growing popularity in South Korea's low-priced cell phone market with their high-end features and competitive prices. Popular smartphone makers vied to launch their latest products in South Korea from the end of last year. Most of those products are priced between 290,000 won to 600,000 won, which is only 70% of premium phones. However, their features can be on a par with that of any high-end ones. Li Hing Yang, manager of an electronics store in Seoul, said more and more consumers have come to ask about foreign brands this year. Foreign brands gained growing popularity as their phone's performance is 1.5 times better than local brands in the same price range and their prices are 30% lower than the premium phones. About one or two of every 10 customers at our store will choose foreign brands nowadays. Meanwhile, foreign brands change their sales strategies from purely online sales to direct sales in a closer cooperation with local telecom operators. Some brands set up more customer service centers in Seoul to improve their after-sales services. Problems like cell phone screen cracks or battery leaks will be solved in one day. Even at rush hours, I could drop the broken one at the convenience stores nearby and get it delivered to service centers, which is quite convenient. Facing massive and fast penetration of foreign brands, local phone makers also took active moves to secure their market shares. South Korean electronics giants Samsung and LG lately renewed their low-priced products. Samsung even applied artificial intelligence assistance software and its payment tools. Only available to premium products in the past, to some of its low-end products to make them more competitive. Insiders say the competition in the low-priced phone market will be even fiercer than ever. A pan-European research institute has said foldable phones will be on the market within five years. Over 150 academic and industrial institutions across 23 countries are tasked with taking graphene out of the lab and onto the market. Mobiles and wearable tech is one sector the group is targeting because of graphene's unique properties. <laughs> the substance is stronger than steel, but thinner than paper, as well as being bendable, stretchable, highly conductive, and extremely lightweight. Researchers from Alchain University in Germany display flexible microchips that can be used as wireless receivers. They expect phones to be made of the same material by 2023, allowing users to bend their devices and even fold them up. This is the power of graphene, that it can be uh, fabricated on the thin, thin film of plastic, just with plastic like this. So you can have your mobile phone as thin as this and as flexible as this as well. As thin as that? Yes, and as flexible. So you can fold it, you can put it in your bag. That's it. Another team from Barcelona is developing a neuron sensor that can be embedded onto the brains of patients who have lost the ability to speak. Every time we think something, we move part of our brain. No? Moderately, when we think of speaking, the muscle, they create an activity in the motor cortex. So we are able to decode this. Even if the patient is not able to pronounce a word, we can say, OK, this activity means love. No? So we translate it, the computer, decode this activity and repeat love. So that's, that's basically the concept behind it. No? 
The sensor is designed to translate electrical impulses into words and text that can be sent to a mobile device or computer via a wireless transmitter. Researchers are also trying to harness graphene's properties as a pressure sensor by incorporating it into smart running shoes. It's very easy because, you know, it's just like a piece of either a fabric or a plastic. We can do both and then it can directly either be a part of your shoe or else it can be made into a shoe sole which you can put in any of your shoe and then just uh, wear and go and have all the data instantaneously on your mobile phone or a computer. Graphene parts in the shoes in sole measure the pressure distribution of each step which is transmitted to a mobile app via Bluetooth allowing a runner to achieve the most efficient gait.